come back in to our second free tournament match of the night as the Dragons of Lane College have infiltrated, if you will, the Brewer Sports Center at Smith Court, Smith Kirk Court. Lane coming off of their win over Crowley's Ridge. They wanted it three sets to one. You look at that stat sheet, Michael noticed they got a couple of they got a couple of hitters, big hitters. They got, you know, they've got some six and six down there, but your two big hitters, number one and number four. That's right, number one uh, for them. And I apologize if I'm not saying uh, Maya. Maya Thompson. I would say it. And then uh Brielle Hawkins. Uh, until we get a further confirmation, that's uh, what we'll go with for right now. But Hawkins with 17 kills, and then Thompson with 12 uh, combined for 20, or excuse me, 39 uh, of the 59 kills by uh, by Lane College. Or excuse me, 29 of the 59. So that's almost half. Which that's and then, of course, on the assist board, he had uh, Jasmine Jones combined. Uh, or had 36 of the 50 assists that they had. And, of course, you had Kristen Jackson with 12. And then you had two players getting one each. So, uh, really, in each of their categories, they got one standout in each one of them, sometimes maybe two. Uh, you see Jasmine Jones, uh, the big one in the assist category. And, of course, you got Hawkins Thompson in the kills category. In the digs, you probably got about two or three. Uh, at least with last game, you got – Lamister, who had 23 last game, and then you had Hawkins, who had 22, and then Jai Scott had 18, and then you had two more in the double-digit category, and then uh, Blocks, they only had 12 last game. So uh, with, the thing with Lane College is you know where to keep it away from in each of these categories, and with a team that freed Hardman that we saw against Crowley's Ridge, I don't believe they'll have any problem doing that, Coach. I think you may be right there. Now you look at that, and you look at the assist number. That's your setter, and you, you know, every team basically has one primary setter now. So the the one that had uh, 17 or 12 uh, had 12 sets was assists as number 17, Kristen uh, Jackson. Their primary setter is going to be that number two, Jasmine Jones. That. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure they run a 5-1 just like Freed Hardeman runs. You look out on the floor, you've got uh, Casey Donegan is your outside hitter. In the middle looks like Ashlyn Cliff. Your opposite hitter will be Avery Harris. On the back row, Claire Walker, Allie Humphrey, and Annalise Jackson. Now, Annalise, I give her a lot of credit. She's playing injured. Last weekend down at Faulkner, she went to block a ball and it hit right on the top and jammed her finger down. Fortunately, there's no broken bones, and she says it hurts, but uh, she's going to fight through as Walker sets it up. Humphrey now going to set back to the backside to Cliff. Nice dig there on the back row by Lane. Now Humphrey brings it across court to Donegan, and she puts it down. Remember, Casey Donegan surpassed 1,000 kills uh, in her career. That's right. And, uh, of course, uh, we try to check uh, with the uh, record book, see how uh, far that was on the all-time uh, kills list uh, for Freed Hardman. And, uh, unfortunately, couldn't get that to pull up, so we'll have to check with Taylor after yeah, the we'll game. Have to check that, with him. Brielle, Brielle Hawkins there with the big hit. Serving up now Krista Jackson, number 17 for Lane. Done again, again. That time she goes a little bit long. So 2-1 our score, Lane leading Freed Hardeman. And Dunnigan last game, 12 kills. Had six of those kills, though, in the first set. Not a good set right there by Humphrey as it goes. It pushes out, and Dunnigan had no ch no opportunity, really, to, to make the attack. Emma Campbell on the back row. 
Freed Hardeman, this is what Todd was worried about, playing the first game and then sitting out, your, your team not staying focused as they should. And so far, Lane is, is, is do, should be doing what they want to do. And uh, there's an error. Looks like that Lady Lion basketball team is coming in across the way over there. Must have had practice or getting ready to practice one of the two. There's an over, in overpass there by Avery Harris and killed right back down by Lane. And that's one thing about Lane, they're gonna have some good athletes and they're gonna be able to, uh, to do some leaping. And another service error for Lane. Cuts that lead down, makes it 5-3. Yeah, Campbell serving. No, excuse me, that's uh, Cliff serving. And an error there for Lane. I looked down there, I thought it was Campbell. Because at the first that they were wearing the burgundy, now that Freed Hardeman is reversed, and is now wearing... The gray tops, another nice serve. Free ball gonna be for Fruit Hardman. You gotta use this to your advantage. Humphrey sets the backside to Jackson and right off of the fingertips back there on the back row. You know, if it wasn't for the wrap that's on Jackson's hand, you really couldn't tell if she's injured or not. She's playing like she usually does, uh, just going all out for it and playing, playing with her heart. Campbell with the with the dig. Now Donegan and she miss miss hits that one. That's one thing you're gonna see. Yeah, a lot of heart out of out of the kids from Freed Hardeman. And she those two fingers are taped together. I think she's got a splint that's holding it together, so that kind of gives her some stability on her finger. So Brielle Hawkins serving for Lane. Bryce Morris with the reception. Now it comes right back to Jack, uh, yeah, to Jackson. That was a perfect setup right there. Hey, when you get a good set, you get, you know, you want that set to be, well, your first pass from the back on the reception or the dig, you want it to be in front of the 10 foot line and your setter can put it within three feet of the net and you're pretty good shape. As Dunnigan serves. They're going to go back row by Hawkins. Now Walker with the There's another back row. I tell you what, that you, you think it's going to be a free ball, and then all of a sudden they're, they're digging it up and hitting it over. There's a free ball. Hey, you notice Claire Walker, what she did there. She read the block, was able just to tip it over. And forced the lane uh, to knock it out of bounds. And Freed's come back taking a 7 6 lead. There's an overpass. Let's see if Jackson dumps it. I got to tell you what, Jackson, probably one of the most talented volleyball players uh, out, of, out of this whole talented volley, uh, group of volleyball players that we've got. And she's only a sophomore. Only coach. a sophomore. Only I, it's, what you like is it's a versatile group that uh, if everyone does their job like they're supposed to, and there's Claire Walker, another senior, uh, senior came back for her fifth year at the COVID year. You got a lot of talent on that Freed Hardeman team. That's right. And there's a, a service ace. So Fried Hardeman has stretched it out and made it 10 to six. Now let's see. Well, believe it, one time it was five to two and we've gone on this deep of a run. And That's there. good showing here. That's, um, I want to, it may be Maya Thompson. If I get it wrong, if, if uh, my buddy Roger Ogden the associate AD at Lane, he may call me and say, hey, you got that wrong, or text me. Oh, nice dig by Dunnigan, and Humphrey, she puts it over very smartly, close to the net. 
It was going to be a very tough set for Humphrey if she didn't do what she did right there, but Lane comes back and gets the kill. That was a smart play by Humphrey, though. Just didn't get the result. Right. We'll be getting uh, after the match. We'll have Coach Humphrey and at least one player up. We may get more than one as Walker puts another one down. The play at the net is a key. Almost a carry right there, but Walker's going to get it. And that time Thompson just uses her athleticism and makes something happen. And she now steps back to serve. And service error. Now, you see who's over there rotating the balls in and out. You got Jeremy Wright to our left. And athletic director extraordinaire Mike McCutcheon. And uh, Avery Harris, what can you say? Uh, I've noticed Lane is trying a lot of attacks from the back row. That's right. And the thing with Lane, uh, looking through their roster, and a lot of their players, I believe, with the exception of two of them, all of them are from outside of the state of Tennessee. So, uh Coach for Lane, which I believe uh, Jacqueline Stewart, if I'm not Correct. mistaken, uh, she goes to a lot of places to recruit these players. I believe she has one uh, that is from Ca the state of California. And so re really athletic group she's got here as well, too. Well, what you what you see with Lane, you know, being uh, an HBCU, uh, historically black college, they get people from all over. All their sports, they recruit nationwide. So, There's that, now let's see here. And that time, Jackson, Kristen Jackson sails it out of bounds. The Fruit Heart have been up 16 to nine. But this, this lane, this team from lane is, 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 they look better than any team that I've seen lane put out here. That's a credit to coach Jacqueline Stewart. And Lane calls a timeout. We're going to take it with him. We'll be back after this 30-second break on the FHU Sports Network. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford and Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. And welcome back in. Ray Pack and Michael Mullenix here bringing you Freed Hardeman Volleyball. Show being produced and directed by Paul Schultz. Humphrey taken out. Campbell with the setup. Donegan across court. And a free ball for Fried Hardeman. That's going to be a double hit. You saw how the ball changed direction right there. It's the right idea. Uh, and Mary, what was her last name? Uh, Mary uh, Bannister. Mary Bannister down on the floor camera, bringing you those great shots on the floor level. Appreciate Worthy Road Studios, great quality. Not only I go ahead and I go ahead and throw it out there. Not only does Paul and Worthy Road Studios cover Fruit Hardman sports, they cover all sports for Jackson Christian, all sports for Trinity Christian. All sports for Sacred Heart, and he does Peabody High School football only. 
and it, along with a lot of other projects he's involved in. That's right. So he's got a lot going on. As it's 19 to 10, Freed Hardeman here. But we appreciate Paul and what he does. Speaking of, these broadcasts uh, take a little bit of funds to, to put on. If your business is looking for a place to wisely spend your advertising dollar, Paul can get you the rates. If you don't know his number, you can call up here to Freed Hardeman, talk to Coach Humphrey, or you can get in touch with Dan Hughes, and they will – get you the rates. There's all kinds of packages available that you could use with Worthy Road Studios. And there's a nice hit there by Brielle, Brielle Hawkins. And the libero for Lane's going to come in. That is number six, is it? That is number six, Lamister. Well, you didn't want to take a shot at that first name? I uh, think that is Diana. Daluana. Da da I, I believe that would be, I don't know, it's Lamaster. What's what we'll just call her, Lamaster? Lamaster. Okay. Number two, or number six. And that time, just a little roll shot. And all that is set up because Casey Dunnigan is such a power hitter. You don't know if you need to stay back. She reads the defense. And then that little roll shot, and Lane takes another timeout. Let's take a 30 with them. We'll be back with more on the FHU Sports Network. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again for fast reliable collision repair trust the experts at mitchell's body shop and get back out there and welcome back that, that commercial of mitchell's body shop is hilarious the talking deer as Ashlyn Cliff continues to serve for Freed Hardeman. Take it on the back row. Set up. And Dunnigan comes and digs it up. Humphrey going to go right back in the middle to Jackson. Blocked back. Speak was there. Now you get the set to the outside to Hawkins. Oh, a nice up by. That was a nice up by uh, Casey Dunnigan covering her block. And it was an overpass. And Thompson... Just a little bit out of position. Tried to bump it back over with one hand, but it didn't work. So 22-12, set number one here in the third game of the day here at the Brewer Sports Center. And game one won by Freed Hardeman against Crawley's Ridge. Let me look, see here, make sure I get my scores. I want to get my scores right. Now, yeah, Freed Hardman won 25-11, 25-14, and 25-12. And then in the second match of the day, uh, the Dragons of Lane College took on Crowley's Ridge, the Pioneers, and the scores of that. Go ahead. I'll let you give those. Well, Crowley's Ridge took the first set 25-23, but after that it was all Lane College. Uh, winning second set 25-17, third set 25-21, and then the fourth and final set, 25-18, to uh, win the game, three sets to one. It is a pretty pretty well played match, both teams. And Dunnigan goes, tries to go line, and she goes wide. Oh, it's 23-14, making Jeremy work over there, chasing the ball down. You got Hawkins back serving for Lane. Campbell. Oh, a nice back set by Humphrey to Jackson. And there's a roll shot. Bryce Morris, now it's going to come out to the right side. Nice up on the back row. Now I got to get a number. I think that's number two. No, it's number four, Hawkins. What a nice dig on the back row. 
And that's it. Set number one goes to Freed Hardeman. We'll take a break right here, bring you set number two right after these messages on the FHU Sports Network. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson, Race Clips, on South Highland, next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus beef steak burgers, so when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday and Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in, the warehouse, and I like my leadership team with the manager and supervisor. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in the sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I'm, I've been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's power to 67664. McLean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. And welcome back. Ray Pack and Michael Molinix here. All right, Mike, we look at these uh, first set stats. Lane had eight kills. Fried Hardeman had 12. And Claire Walker had three. Casey Dunnigan had four. But you look over here at hitting percentage. Lane at .065. Freed Hardeman at 233. Lane did have two blocks. Freed Hardeman had none. So that's why we saw the differential in the score, 25-14. As we come back, Humphrey sets Ashton Clift. An over ball by, by Lane. And... They're gonna call, gonna call her for two hits. I thought it was a different player, but I could be wrong. Might be something I uh, have to go back and look up tonight. And Harris serving back there. At, and she's coming out and in comes a libero Emma Campbell. And there's the back set. Humphrey out. Campbell with the set to Donegan. Donegan. Yeah, puts it down. Tell you what, Fred Hardeman's offense is looking pretty good. And that's that's one thing that will definitely help them next week uh, against Pikeville uh, and then the Cumberlands and then Cumberland University. That gets very confusing if you nice. don't say uh, that. Yeah, right. well, especially when you're playing. You know, you got Pikeville coming in on. I believe that's Friday, Friday night. 
Then you have the University of Cumberland's, the Patriots, coming in on Saturday. And then next Tuesday, you have the uh, Cumberland. You know, it's hard to do when you've got them back-to-back -back like that. And just missed it right there. Well, Friedhardt is going to go up 4-1. Still early in set number two here. Been a full day of volleyball. And, of course, third game of the day. Uh, the second for both of these teams right now. And that was Tamari Mitchell with the attack that time. Sails it out of bounds. So, Ashland Cliff continues to serve. Ashland from Southside High School in Jackson. And there's a big hit for Dunnigan. Nice up there by Hawkins. They're going to back set again. This time it's Jasmine Jones, who's normally the setter, and she goes up and gets the attack. In to serve is Alexis Orslet. Try to call these names at least once in the match. And she leaves it short. Those are the things you can't do in a in a in a in a volleyball match is have unforced the unforced errors. In the first set, Lane had three service errors and three reception errors. Fried Hardeman had no service errors and one reception error. So that's uh that make that's what you want to look at when you're in. So now Casey Donegan serving. And free ball for Freed Hardeman. As that time Thompson with the kill from the middle position. Middle hitter, middle blocker, whatever. You, one or the other, depending on where you're at on offense. Yeah, there's another service error by Hawkins. If I'm not mistaken, that's either two or three service errors uh, so far in this match. I know she, according to uh, the stats from the first set, she had zero service errors. Uh, so, And I'm thinking that's her second one of this, of this set as Claire Walker goes up. And, and and give uh give Jasmine Jones credit. She was there for the block, just a little bit too far away. The ball went straight down between her and the net. As Campbell serving. And two hits. That's what you get somebody who's not used to setting. Notice Campbell now that time she served it more to the middle. And Jackson with the set on that. So they're running basically a 6-2 offense, not a 5-1, because they've, they've got two setters. It is now back serving is Jasmine Jones. Oh, that would have been, been out. It's okay. Emma made a nice, a good hustle play. That, that ball probably would have been out. It's 10-5. Oh, that took a – you see how tricky that was for Humphrey? She was expecting it to come over and hit the top of that. Nice up by Campbell. Claire Walker with the roll shot, goes to the back. Proves my point. You don't have to hammer it every time. That's true. And I believe Lane might have just called a timeout. I think she did at 11 to 5. We'll be back after a 30 second break right here on the FHU Sports Network. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country.
And welcome back in. Let's just discuss with Michael. These broadcasts are archived. Uh, you can catch them on the Freed Hardeman website, the, the, the portal, or you can go to Worthy Road Studio, look up their YouTube page, and when you go to the Worthy Road uh, Studio's YouTube page, you're going to find a lot of stuff on there as that ball sails just out of bounds for Claire. So 11-6. And so you'll see football, 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 and more football. And boxing? Well, I didn't know you did boxing, Paul. I, I need to go watch you that You need now. to go check that out, huh? Do we do yeah. any wrestling as well? I don't know if he does wrestling. Oh, he – he does a little bit of everything. He does weddings. If you need, if you need a professional to do video, video your wedding, uh, Paul will be happy to do that. Does it, funerals? Yeah, he's told me he's been doing some funerals, and I know he does some. Uh, as that, that number eight there, Sierra Smitherman, Smitherman, that just sails out of bounds on her. He's been he he does some church services too, so. Paul's versatile when it comes to what what he does with Worthy Road Studios. I gave him a plug. Maybe I should give Streaming Eagle Media a plug. <laughs> you want to watch Chester County High School Sports, you can tune in to the Streaming Eagle Media YouTube page, and you'll find myself and my son-in-law, Dre Duncan, doing football. Nice play. Nice hit by Ashlyn Clift right there. You got to throw a little bit of all of it out there. And we're all in this together. It's not a competition because kids watch one game one night, another game another night, another game another night. And that's the beauty of having it. That's the beauty of having it on YouTube is that you can go back and watch it. That's right. Uh, I remember it was a few weeks ago. Uh, one of my buddies, uh, who's now uh, a freshman baseball player at Freed Hardman, uh, was watching uh, one of the games. He's like, "I didn't know you commentated for baseball." And, uh, of course, now he is a, uh, of course, freshman player this year from mm -hmm. Lewis County. Uh, so you're going to get to call his name maybe? Go, go, hopefully get to call his name this year. If not, definitely will next year. He, great ball player. A nice play right there by Claire Walker from the back row attack. Now to Donegan. There you go. Nice play by the Lady Lions. Keep the rally alive. Humphrey again with the dig. And don't believe. Uh, and that that ball just barely went over the antenna. But I tell you what, that's a hustle play all around for Allie Humphrey and Emma Campbell. They just were trying and trying. Definitely got the approval of the fans right there. You could hear the crowd pop from – the, yeah. Even the headsets we got on right oh, yeah. now. So back serving for Lane is Jai Scott. There's Dunnigan. Not much you can do to defend that right there. I don't know of any MLB players that have seen anything that fast before. I'll tell you what, she hammered it. And go to the outside. The Hawkins dice up right there by Katie Speak. Now Dunnigan goes cross. And going to get a free ball. Off. Avery Harris goes into the middle. Annalise Jackson. Fruit Hardeman just has so many hitters. They can pretty well go to the right side, to the middle, and then to the opposite side. Humphrey out, speak with the set. Dunnigan puts another one down. So she's well on her way to number 1100. As we're going to see a sub in for Fried Hardeman. That's going to be the freshman setter, number 18, uh, Adley Mays. Coach Humphrey said he would like to get some of his younger players some uh, – some playing time. That's right. And of course, during the first game, we saw Charlie Fulton. Uh, of course, as we mentioned, uh, Big Sisters Riley Fulton, who has the all-time digs 
uh, record here at Freed Hardman. And another another kill for Dunnigan. It, it, well, and, and as I was talking to Coach Humphrey, if you didn't hear the interview after the first game, you know he said he said she's really good. Uh, Charlie's Charlie's a good player. He said, but it's hard for me to take someone who was a senior this year and started last year and replace them with a freshman. And I understand that. But the beauty of it is you've always got that backup. That's right. And that time an attack error by Cliff makes it 19-8, Freed Hardeman. And, of course, Fulton, a uh, freshman outside hitter out of Franklin, Tennessee, attended Nolensville High School where I believe – uh, no, of one state championship she won. Uh, might have two. won two. Two in a row. He two. said, Todd, Coach Humphrey said that she had won two in a row. The one thing is, he said she could be as good as her sister was as a defensive specialist, not an, not even as an attacker, uh, as a defensive specialist on the back row. And we've got uh, Malia McDonald checking in for Lane. And, of course, as we mentioned earlier, Lane – a lot of their players coming from outside the state of Tennessee. Uh, McDonald is not one of those players. She is uh, from Memphis, Tennessee, coming out of Memphis East High School. And got a substitution. Got a substitution here. And it, they didn't wait for the whistle to blow them in. They just switched. Yes. Hard to believe on this new floor. Beautiful floor here at Freed Hardeman University. Updated logo. Just absolutely gorgeous. And if you if you want to, you can go to the Freed Hardeman. I don't know if it's uh, all there, but they had a video of refinishing the floor. I believe it I believe it's on the Athletics Facebook page, if I'm not mistaken. I think that may be where it's at. Because uh, I remember me and Dad were uh, looking at it one day, and it, it was one of those uh, oddly satisfying uh, yeah. things you can find there. You know, and done again with another hammer. I tell you what, Mays just a beautiful set as Claire Walker comes back in. Now Charlie Fulton's going to come in another. Coming in, she's coming in for uh, Donegan is to serve. It's 21-10, set number two. And the block back, nice up by Bryce Morris. There's the roll. Now sets in the middle to Thompson, and Thompson puts it down. Morris just unable to get to that. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, that's that's one of those. You know, it's tough. And Walker, ball tipped at the net on the off the block, makes it 22-11. Freed Hardeman. Freed Hardeman trying to even their season record at three and three with a win here. And they do get this third win. That'd be three wins in a row. Of course, lost the first three of the season, but now got two straight wins. And and I think even uh I don't think Coach Humphrey was real pleased with Friday night's play down at Faulkner, and that's out. But he said Saturday we began to develop some mojo. And Although they lost that one, he said we played fairly well and then come back and finish the other one. So there's a serve to set to Thompson, and it's going to sail long. Well, all of a sudden it's 24-11. We're at set point as Emma Campbell continues to serve. You watch the action now, Thompson. A little tip, almost didn't go over. And a back row attack by Hawkins, dug up there nicely by Charlie Fulton, rolled over by Walker. 
And there's the back set. Oh, nice. Nice up there by Lane. And Claire Walker is going to end this one. Oh, 25-11, set number two. So Freed Hardman won set number one, 25-14, 25-11 here. We'll be back with set number three after this timeout on the FHU Sports Network. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson, Race Clips, on South Highland, next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus Beef Steak Burgers, so when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus Beef Steak Burgers, so when you order at Snookums, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday to Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. He shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. And we welcome you back in as we move to set number three of the Fried Hardeman Lane College. Volleyball match, I remember. <laughs> you know, it's bad to get old. It, it, it's bad to get old. All right, let's look at this. All right, so overall, when we first look at Lane. No one in double digit with kills. There are 15 kills out of 63 attacks. And it gives them a .063 hitting uh, percentage. You drop down here to Freed Hardeman, 27 of 62 for a 306. And there is a back row attack. They, they've used that a lot, Michael, that back row. And it has been going long quite frequently as Claire Walker serving for the Lady Lions. And this ought to be a free ball. Emma Campbell digs it up. I'm gonna say that had to be four hits, which it is. Emma Campbell, I noticed uh, looking at her, looking at the roster. Hazel Green, Alabama. We get a lot of student athletes from Hazel Green, Alabama. Baseball, softball, and volleyball. I remember we did have some and baseball last year. Can't remember off right I, off the top of my I head. I know uh, on the softball team, you've got Catherine Crabb and her sister. Uh, I believe it's Madeline. I may be wrong. I, I, I may have to look that up to make sure. But I know we got th those two from Hazel Green. And a lot of errors by Lane. They're just getting the, hitting the ball behind their heads and it's causing it to sail out of bounds. So freed up 4 nothing here in set number three. Claire Walker continues to serve, 
And there's a service ace. If you want to see your team continue to compete, even though things aren't going your way for Lane, you want to see them compete. And it's going to be a tip off of uh, Casey there. So Lane gets that first point. Makes it five to one. I'm pretty sure I'm looking at the live feed on my computer screen. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I keep and wanting to say it, the score what, that's on there. No, you <laughs> get yeah, you don't can't pay attention to that one. We've got to pay attention to the scoreboard. Because it's a little there's a little delay when you look at the at the at the live feed here. I believe what, 30 seconds? About delay. 30 seconds or so. And another service ace there by Avery Harris. And of course, Free Harbor wins this one. They win uh, the game in their third straight. And so they're going to want to look to get, go ahead and get this one. Yeah, you uh, you want to you you don't want to mess around right here. It's kind of like in baseball, softball. You know, you get up 3-0, you don't or you know you got to count 0-2. You might throw a, a waste pitch, but you don't need to throw more than one because you're setting up a pitch. And the back set, Ashland Cliff over, and there's the middle. And just not enough on it for Thompson as it falls on the lane side of the floor. 8-1. And the back set that time. Annalise Jackson, guess what? What up? There's no thank you. She's, no she's thank you. Going to add to her blocks on the day. Uh, see, she had – Trying to see where the blocks were. See, I don't think we had any. We have had none up though. That's the first block. That's the first block of the night in this match. And then the first game when we had Crowley's Ridge, she had one, I believe. Well, we're going to go to a timeout. We'll be right back with more on the FHU Sports Network. With extra pandemic unemployment funding coming to an end in Tennessee, you should not hesitate to find a job that pays what you need and treats you well. Because those jobs are going to go as quickly as gasoline in a shortage. Apply today at McLean Power Systems in Trenton. This is what their workers had to say. I like the atmosphere of the department I work in in the warehouse. And I like my leadership team with the manager and supervisor. I actually like that you are able to grow within the company. I started here as an operator in sales, and I've been able to work my way up to a supervisor. Honestly, it's every person I've kind of interacted with here. It's I've enjoyed every one of them. I'm, I've been with McLean almost two years now, and I will have to say not only with the great pay and benefits, uh, leadership is absolutely wonderful. Make your next career move to McLean today by texting POWER to 67664. That's power to 67664. The Clean Power Systems is an equal opportunity employer. All right, we are back. And Fried Hardman gives up a point, makes it 10-2. Katie Speak, Campbell had to dig it up. Dunnigan. Dunnigan with a little easy cross-court shot. Mishandled. Another kill for Casey. Is Ashley Cliff back now serving? The barrel digs it up. And gonna call her for two hits, I believe. Yep. That's uh Sierra Smitherman. We we'll call for the double hit there. Ashlyn Cliff puts it over. And that would be considered, Michael, a reception error because the first pass was not where it needed to be. That first pass is is it. A lot of times if you're sitting in the stands, you'll if you've been to many volleyball, you'll hear one pass, one the coach or the bitch hollering one pass. Well, that's what they're talking about. Hawkins with another back row attack. Dunnigan, another kill. 
didn't even have time to react she to had, that one. She, in the first two sets, has had 11 kills, by far the most, and she's got several more here. Cliff still serving. And Annalise kind of looks at her hand and said, I can't believe I missed that one. As Lane gets the kill from Tamari Mitchell. And uh, did have a substitution. Ashlyn Cliff will check out. And checking in for will be Gabby Rodriguez. And I believe Gabby is a sophomore from San Antonio. San Antonio. And there's a miss hit. There's a, there's a rare one in this match for Casey. as she just got, got a little bit behind her head. Yeah, Gabby is from San Antonio, Texas, and Coach Humphrey says he would like her to be on the floor more, but he's just got so much. And there's the back set to Annalise Jackson, and guess what? Annalise puts it down as Claire Walker is going to check back in as Casey Donegan is going to go back and serve. Nice serve, set by Jackson. Hawkins, it's blocked back. And this time Jackson, she's just going to tip it over very lightly. Donegan's going to set it for Claire Walker. Blocked at the net, goes back over. And there's another attack error by Lane. Sierra Smitherman. And now we're going to see Allie Humphrey come out and Mays check back in for Freed Hardman. And I believe Mays. Uh, Adley Mays. I got to get that one down. I uh, believe she's a freshman from Dothan, Alabama. I think I'm that's not. right. Coach Humphrey was telling me about, oh, and a double block right there by Mays and Jackson. Yeah, he said it's about six hours. That's all the way. Dothan is all the way down there by Mobile, Gulf Shores, in that area. Oh, wow. That's a long way away. And Donegan. Another service ace. 17-4. And looks like Charlie Foles is going to yeah. check back in. Charlie's going to check in for, for Casey on the back row. Let her serve. So, yeah, get some of your young kids a little bit of experience. Talked a little bit about Ivy Robinson. She's been rehabbing a shoulder injury from last year. Said she's still not back 100%. She did see some action down at uh, Faulkner. Hopefully hopefully she'll be back to 100% here before the season's over because they, they could use her. And she's a phenomenal high school player over at Lexington. As Rodriguez reaches up over her head, ball probably could have been out of bounds, but that's okay. 19 to 5. Is Jackson serving? And Jackson with the kill. And first in the first game against Crowley's Rich, she had 10, she had 7 entering this set, so I'll be interested to see how many she's got now. Oh, uh, you're talking about Annalise? Annalise and, Jackson. Well, she's out now as, as Campbell is serving in her spot. And now, we can, now we're going to see Ivy come in for Harris. I'm glad to see that. Let her get a little bit of playing. She's got to get confidence back. Being out for a year, uh, she, she needs to regain some confidence in what she can do and realize the, the limitations of her shoulder. Rodriguez tips it up. Walker's going to kill it over. Dug up. Now an outside hit by Hawkins. She does a roll shot. She's been swinging at it hard. And Claire Walker with the kill. Barely just stayed in right there, but, hey, hey. he's still in. Hey, volleyball is a game of inches. Let me, I'll, let's, let's test your volleyball knowledge. If the ball hits the line, is it in or is it out? I would say it would be in, wouldn't it? It is in. Let's say it's one of those rare sports where, I, 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 well, basketball, 
is probably the, one of the only sports that has a boundary line. If a ball hits it, it's out. I believe football is the same and as well. And Baseball, if it hits the foul line, it's in. Yeah, if the ball hits the line in volleyball, it is in. It's 22 to 7 now. Freed Hart have been just trying a few things different. This is where you this is where you could use and run some offense that you may not use normal, but it may be something that you want to work on. There's another service error by the Dragons. And now we're going to go back to serve. Will be Adley Mays. Ah, got to communicate. Yeah, that, that, that was a lack of communication right there. Hey, hey you can speak up. Don't let me do all the talking. Oh, well. I'll tell you what, I'm going to shut up and let you do the last last part of this set. Well, you have Hawkins serving for Lane College. Nice dig there by Campbell. And what a kill by Walker. One point away, Coach. One Point she, away. She read the set. She read the, the block perfect that time. And Walker's going to be on the serve this time. And nice dig again by Campbell. And Donegan's going to send it home. Another kill on the day for Donegan. Gets her 1,000th kill earlier today, and she gets the game winning kill. Only fitting. All right, we're going to take about, about a two or three minute break here on the FHU Sports Network. We'll wait for Coach Humphrey and uh, whoever he decides to come up. So we will we will do that. Are you ready? I've got to wait for, be ready for you. All right, we'll be back with more on the FHU Sports Network. Buying a car is all about you. In person, over the phone, or online, we make it simple and easy. Our place is yours no matter where you live. LonnieCobbFord.com or Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. At Lonnie Cobb Ford, we now give you a warranty for life on the engine and transmission. That's right, a warranty for life at no cost to you. Unlimited time, unlimited mileage, but it's only at Lonnie Cobb Ford in Henderson, where cars really are cheaper in the country. Football looks fun. I bet I would have been great at it. The first football playing deer, they would have made a movie about me and everything. Probably get Kurt Russell to play me. But alas, me and my dreams run right over again. For fast, reliable collision repair, trust the experts at Mitchell's Body Shop. And get back out there. Men, there's a new salon in Jackson, Race Clips, on South Highland, next door to Roland Safety and Supply. Whether it's a quick trim or a new look, Race Clips stylists can transform you to perfection. At Race Clips, you'll find all the products to keep you looking your best. Active duty military, veterans, and law enforcement officers receive a discount. Open Monday through Friday from 9 to 6, 9 to 3 on Saturday. Race Clips on South Highland, Jackson. Go to race-clips.com. 27 years ago, a vision became a reality and Snookum Steakhouse officially opened. We cut our steaks in-house and our ribeyes are full of flavor. The steak trimmings are used to make our certified Angus Beef Steak Burgers, so when you order at Snookum's, you are getting high quality. Enjoy our salad bar and mini dessert. Also try our famous family recipe, the Pink Lush Fruit Salad. Come visit Snookum Steakhouse in Henderson, Tennessee. We are open evenings Tuesday through Saturday, but closed Sunday to Monday. Snookum Steakhouse, come taste the difference. This could be a true story. On October 3rd, a 2003 hatchback struck and killed a deer that goes by the name Buck. I know, right? He now has Buck's head proudly displayed on his living room wall. He tells a different story. Shot it. No, he didn't. And to hide his lie, he took his car to Mitchell's body shop. No, I didn't. Yes, he did. And lucky for him, they made it look Good as new. And as for Buck, the story continues. And we
We are back, and we have with us uh, Casey Donegan, who congratulations to you, first of all, on your career 1,000th kill so on much. the night in set number one. And you had a total of, uh, in this match, of 14. Look at that hitting percentage, 333. Thank you. What do you thank think? You. Is that pretty good? That's you think very, that's pretty good? That's for me, that's pretty good. What do you, what do you think you should be at hitting-wise? I mean, that number is pretty ideal. A .333 is, that's a very, that's a pretty good hitting percentage. And that's kind of what I aim for every, um, every game, you know, less attack, sorry, less errors and more kills. I mean, you 14 out of 27, that's pretty good. And, and only five errors. Right. And that's not bad. I mean, no. you know you're going to have an error, mm -hmm. and you know you're going to get some block yeah. backs or some tips. or It happens. They're going to get some digs on you. You, right. you know that. I mean, right. you had 11 digs, too, on the defense. Mm -hmm. So, uh, pretty good night for you. Thank you so much. Pretty I good night. That. And you're just And you're just a junior. I am. I am. Do you get a fifth year? Can I you do get, get can a fifth can, year. Are you going to take advantage of it, I do you think? I think I am going to. Yes, sir. So, we're going to have you around two more years? Hopefully. I like yes, that. Sir. I like that. <laughs> I've always, like I have I have to say, you know, this first year we've really brought, we did a few games last year, right. but this first year we're doing uh, most of all of the games. Awesome. And, but I've been watching you since you were a freshman and, and I've always been impressed with your demeanor. No matter what happens on the floor, your demeanor as far as if it doesn't go right, you don't overreact, you don't underreact. So I, I, I just want to talk about that. Thank you so much. Um, what's your major? I'm kinesiology with an emphasis in exercise science. So I'm trying to do athletic training. So you have Dr. Williams? Yes. Do Dr. I what do, do you think about him? I gotta, I gotta <laughs> ask, I like, I like uh, Dr. Williams. No, he's great. I had him for weight training. That's the only class I've had with him so far since he's new. But he was great. Like he really knew what he was talking about, had a lot of knowledge, and it was great being in his class. Good. Have you ever, have you ever had to email him back and forth? Yes, did a you see? Bit. Did you, are you friends with him on Facebook? No, I don't think I am. He posted a note on Facebook the other day that he's gonna have to address his classes of addressing him as, hey. <laughs> Oh, goodness. It was pretty funny. That's that today's uh, lingo. That, that's, just, that's today's lingo. You're exactly <laughs> yes. right. But, uh, y'all, last weekend, I'll talk a little bit about last week. I know you went down to Faulkner, and you, you had a pretty pretty rough weekend. You yeah. come back one and three. Mm -hmm. Today you, you get two against uh, Crowley's Ridge and then uh, Lane. And so you even your season record, 3-3. Mm -hmm. three. Yeah. You come in Friday night. Pike was coming to town. Yes. Conference game number one. Yes, sir. Is so basically a new season starting. Right. <laughs> and so, uh, have you? Do you, do you all watch film or anything, or do you? Yes. Does Does Coach Amanda do some scouting, and y'all just go through stuff? Usually, before every game, we have either Coach Amanda or Coach Humphrey, and they basically like put us all together, and they put people on the court, and they're like, "All right, this is the kind of defense they run." This is the kind of offense they run. And they just kind of go through what it would look like on their side of the court. So, personally, I love watching film. So, I'll watch film before. But usually, um, Coach Amanda and Coach Humphrey do that for they us. And then during practice, before games, they run us through everything. So, well, that's what that's what makes, uh, makes this volleyball team special. It seems yeah. like you all understand what you need to do. Right. I know today was a little bit of – Fairly easy match. I thought Lane would give you a little bit more than they mm -hmm. did. Uh, watching them against Crawley's Ridge, it looked like they were a much improved team. They've got they've got athletes. They've got height. Yes, they have some great players. Uh, they've on their got team. some really good players. They just got down on themselves, yeah. and it showed in the third set that they got yes. down. So. Yeah. And that's something we try to work on as a team. You know, we've lost a lot of seniors last year, so this is this is a whole new lineup for a lot of us. So I think. After last weekend, us going one and three, that last Faulkner game, we kind of started clicking a little bit more. And so into these two games, and then hopefully for the rest of the season, we can keep that um, chemistry and that momentum. That echoed exactly what Coach Humphrey said really? after the first game. Yeah. He said, "He said, you know, you played played better on Saturday, even in the first the first game that you lost. But then right. things started coming together. Mm -hmm. And what's beautiful about this team, you know, you got Claire back as a as right. a fifth year senior." Uh, We've got Emma coming back. Mm -hmm. So what you, what we see is the ability to build depth, right. which is something right. we really haven't had. Mm -hmm. there, there's there's and, and you you probably know as well as I there, there's young ladies on the that are stand, sitting over on the bench or standing on the sidelines as y'all do that mm -hmm. could be starting somewhere oh, else. Yeah. 
-hmm. And I'll, that, that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we have a great freshman incoming class. They've been amazing. They've really stepped up into the, their roles. And even like with the sophomores, the freshmen from last year, I mean, we just have so much depth in each of our classes that it's sometimes it's hard to be able to put everybody on the court, even though everybody is good enough to be on the court. You know, and I know Coach Humphrey, like, well, he really he's, does he's, his best. He, he tries. He tries. Yes, he tries. And um, – I think he's been doing a great job. We're finally starting to get it together a little bit and work as a team. And, I mean, he can throw anybody in there. I mean, he did it tonight with the new yeah. setter. Yeah, I mean, and yeah, Adley did a great job when she, she came in job. to replace. Uh, right. Uh, Allie. Yeah. <laughs> I was, okay. thinking, I, I, was I was thinking. I, I was anything. thinking Emily. You know, oh, I was thinking my goodness. Emily. Oh, my I've goodness. seen. I've, I've I've watched Emily right. and Allie right. since they. So long. Allie was about uh, this <laughs> high when I first yep. met Allie. I don't even remember what grade she was. I moved down here twelve years ago. Oh wow! So yeah, so she was about. So I've eight. seen her grow up. So yeah, that's awesome. But anyway, well, yeah, congratulations on the career, Mark, and uh, I know you'll keep adding to that. Yes, sir. I'm and try. we will see you Saturday. Yes, sir. We won't. We won't be doing commentary okay. Friday night. We have we have prior commitment with football, You're football, all good. football You're over all good. football. Has <laughs> the, that's our number one. That's our number one thing for Paul at Worthy mm -hmm. Roads, and then I do Chester County. So, mm -hmm. but anyway, congratulations, Thank and you so uh, much. hope to see you back again. Thank you so much. And we'll bring in Miss Allie Humphrey next. How are you, Miss Allie? I'm good. How are we'll, you? We'll move this up here just a little bit. Okay. All right. Well, I can't hear you for you. You don't, because you don't talk real loud. I don't. Uh, first and foremost, congratulations on being uh, named uh, conference setter of the week for the last week. Mm -hmm. uh, what all did it entail for you to get that award? Um, I was really surprised. I wasn't expecting that so fast, but it was the first week we had been um, doing pretty good at the first at the <laughs> at the tournament. And um, yeah, I was I was very honored to well, see that. It's well deserving, and you know we saw tonight. And uh, let's see, I'm gonna I, I go to the lane, and I I know you only had 21 assists in in the, in, in that one, but uh, let me find the. I think I've got yeah. Here we go. You had 40 and 40 against uh, Crawley's Ridge, so mm -hmm. 61 in. That's averaging 20, 20 assists per set. That's pretty 20 good. out of 25 points. That's uh, it's a pretty good thing. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I think I've asked you this before. What's the, what's the pressure on you for playing for your dad? It's it's a lot of pressure that I don't think most people understand um, unless they are in the situation. Like I mean, I've played for my mom in high school, kind of with a family of two coaches. And it's a lot of added pressure because, of course, I want to make my coach proud, but I also want to make my father proud. So it it's not easy, but it definitely is fun playing well, with Well, you know, your family, athletic, Jared playing baseball. Uh, of course, Emily played volleyball. And she came. So you're following in your sister's mm -hmm. So you've got the added pressure of that, too. Mm -hmm. She was an excellent setter in, in her day as well. Uh, what's your major? I just changed to graphic design. Graphic design. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. What made you change majors? Um, the nur the nursing major I was doing last last year that I did last time I did an interview like this, I just wasn't it wasn't where my heart was, and so I, I think I'll I do, I love art and love okay. doing design. Well, it's fitting that you love art because your grandmother yes, is sir. a great artist, mm -hmm. and some of her prints are some of the prettiest we've seen. Uh, anyway. Uh, do you think you'll ever go back and get a nursing degree? I'm just asking you questions. I mean, people yeah. are interested in the, they they <laughs> sure. like that human interest stuff mm -hmm. when we talk to players. Uh, well, in high school, I had my I got my CNA license, my certified nursing assistant license, working at um, the nursing home in my town, and so I can always go back and get that renewed. Okay. And like, I just have to take a test. Just take so a I test. I can always do that, and I have all like the prereqs for nursing. So if I absolutely wanted to go back, I okay. could. Okay. Good. All yeah. right. Uh, who out there is watching that you want to say hello to besides uh, besides that young man? <laughs> um, or is he even watching today? He probably won't, isn't watching, but I'm sure he'll see it. <laughs> okay. But I don't know. Well, I'm mom. sure he will. His mom was up there taking pictures, you I know. She always takes pictures. I know. Pictures. She's always taking pictures. <laughs> so what all, what, anything else you want to throw out there? 
I'm just I'm so happy to be a part of this team, and I think we're going to go far this year. Well, I, I'll, I'll just throw it out there just like I did with Casey. There's a lot of depth on this team. There is. There's depth that, that, that hasn't been there mm -hmm. for several years. Uh, you, you know, you, you've, got, you've got young ladies that are standing over on the sidelines that probably could have went somewhere else mm -hmm. and started. Yes. Uh, and we have them here. We have a lot of we have a lot of numbers on hitters. When last year we had to kind of make do with what we had, we had to put some hitters in pl places that they weren't used to. But now we have so many options that. I mean, you look down that roster. You got DS, DS, DS. So people don't know a defensive mm -hmm, specialist. Mm -hmm. uh, we have eight outsides. And we have I like think you have five, five or six middles. Mm -hmm. and yeah. And it, and then there's just two of you setter, two setters, but we there, have another one. But there are special. other setters mm -hmm. that could be out there. Yes. I, I know, and that doesn't include the the ones that aren't playing on varsity that mm -hmm. are in playing JV. Right. So, but anyway, uh, go enjoy your night. I will. And mm -hmm. uh, conference play cranks up Friday night with Pikeville coming to town. Mm -hmm. uh, I know every game in the conference is important. Plan for that ultimate to be in the top eight in the conference, mm -hmm. to make it to a uh, conference tournament. I know that's your goal. It's yes. a goal every year. Mm -hmm. And uh, But anyway, good luck the rest of the year. Hopefully awesome. we'll talk to you again. Yes, go, thank you. Go celebrate with your team for, oh, a, few, for a few minutes. All right. Thank you. I'll be boring now. You uh, hey, man, I, I, they took all your thunder, I, I think. No, but you know what? They, and Todd, I'm, I'm proud of you girls because they echoed some of the things that you said. And, you know, I asked them about the depth that, mm -hmm. that we talked about earlier. And, right. And and so, but there's the there's the final stats for yeah, the, for the, the, for uh, the I, mean, I mean, Allie, 21. Yeah, I think we scored more points tonight uh, in the second match off of maybe some uh, – some errors, uh, service errors from them, and some hitting errors from them. And so uh, we served really tough. I was really pleased with Ashlyn, the way she served really tough. And Claire got us off to a good start. Uh, Casey had a really tough serve. So, you know, we, we scored a lot of points tonight off of our serve and some of their errors. And so when you do that, uh, we didn't get as many kills or assists or whatever. So. We had a couple of good stuff blocks uh, there in the last yeah, uh, couple. Yeah, uh, you didn't have any blocks going into the last set, and we, then we noticed that. And we talked about that a little bit because we work on that uh, quite a bit in practice. But uh, it just, it just. It but just uh, but you you said earlier that they were going to have some athletes. They had some girls that got up off got off the floor and up to they hit. Did. Uh, pretty quick. I felt like we kind of we, – we stayed with them quickness-wise. Uh, our passing was good. Our offense was good. Uh, Allie spread the ball around really well uh, to where we were able to get some quick stuff through the through the hole and, and down. And, of course, Casey's going to get her kills, and, and Claire did her job. But, you know, we're still getting a lot of kills in the I middle mean, with you Annalise. Had, you had six by Annalise. And three by Avery, and those are, those are good things that, that we haven't had in the past. You know, we were a little shy last year in the middle. Uh, Experience-wise and depth-wise, we brought in some middles. We're five deep now that can play. And so, uh, you know, bringing in the, the JV like we have, we got some kids that can go both uh, JV and varsity with the depth if we if we need it. Uh, we have another little setter on, on uh, the non-travel team, uh, Heidi, that, uh, you know, she's got good hands. She's She does a good job. She's just uh, not very tall. And so she would be a back row setter only, so we could run her in a 6-2 if we needed to. So we have options, and that's what you want as a coach. Um, well, as you, you mentioned you haven't had that, that many options as you have now, no. at least in the past two or three years. Now, right. before, you know, before we – I guess when we were in the Trans-South, you always had options. We did. We had a lot of – we had, at that point, we had a lot of international players who could play multiple positions. And so if someone got hurt or sick, we could just move them one way or the other and we could do a lot of damage. And then as we moved forward toward uh, 2000, I don't know, 14, 15, 16, we, we got away from that a little bit and uh, uh, we've, we've changed our, our whole – and now they're harder. Up. Now, now they're harder to get because of all the travel restrictions. It's, is it it's not? hard. You know, soccer is having a hard time. You know, we have a young man who's trying to get here to help Coach Elliott out coaching, and just getting out of the country right now is hard. Uh, I talked to Fernanda 
uh, the other day on the phone, and, and uh, she would love to come visit. You know, her sister's here right now, and we'd love for her to come visit, but it's just hard uh, getting to the airport, getting all your paperwork and all that to get over, over here. So it's, uh, it's difficult. Well, we saw conference play Friday night with Pikeville coming to town. Right. What can you take from these two two matches today well, talking to, about prepare, to prepare for, for Pikeville? Well, I feel like offensively we're going to be okay. Uh, I feel like offensively we have a lot of weapons that we can choose from. Uh, you know, you saw Adley go in and, and set well. Gabby's going to get some playing, more playing time later on. Um, you know, I feel like we have a we have the offensive side. Uh, you saw Charlie Fulton get in some there. We, we have the offensive side. I think you know, defensively, we want to get more blocks. Uh, I thought we passed well in service seed, but you know, we we still we still want to get better uh, on the defensive end as well. I think defense is really going to help us this year. We got a lot of DSs and and special type players. So, um, you know, I I just think the more we play, the better we're going to get because we just got. You know, you graduate someone like a Riley Fulton who's played there for four years, and all of a sudden, even though Emma's played last year, it's just a different role. Right. She and wasn't so, a, She was at your libero last no, year. And so, you know, Speaks, even though she's a senior, she only played limited time last year as a junior. So she's in there. Bryce played last year. And so, you know, it's just it's just a different makeup of the team. Allie ran a, we ran a 6-2 last year without Emma self graduating. We went to a 5-1 this year. Uh, we have different middles this year. So, you know, it's just – I think the more we play and more we get into a routine of, of uh, who's playing beside us a little bit, it's going to be a little bit uh, more uh, comfortable for us. And I've, I said that at Faulkner, and I'll say it again tonight. I felt like we got into a good rhythm, and that's why I didn't want to just throw a whole wholesale of, of subs in there. I want to kind of you, work you, them you in. You did work them in one at a time here or there. So. Yes, sir. Uh, well, we'll be back. Sorry. <laughs> and we'll, be, we'll be back. Uh, Michael and I will be back on Saturday as – you won't be here Friday, though, right? We won't be here Friday. You'll have a vi- you'll have video, but you, we won't you have know, commentary. Football is so overrated. You need to not do football. Well, you can talk to Paul about that. That's <laughs> that's that's his that's his department now. No, uh, I understand that the commitments are made to football, Friday night football and stuff. I get that, but uh, Saturday will be a, a but good. But you match got as University well. of Cumberland's coming in from uh, the Patriots, uh, and very, then the next week you got Cumberland coming yeah, in. You, you it's confusing just, Michael and I on the schedule. And confuses I know, me, and I, I know you. Here, so. And I know you don't do the schedule. So that comes no. from the conference office, no. but uh, it, it anyway. should be a good, good next uh, three weeks. Should be a lot of, lot of uh, high impact volleyball. So we, we look forward. Well, to we're it. looking, we're looking forward to it. Uh, I know Tuesday night when uh, Cumberland comes down, to Michael will be starting us off, and then as soon as Susan and them finish at the high school, I'll, I'll, I'll be up to, to okay. join him. Uh, how did they do tonight? Did, they again? won. I don't think they played very well, but I think they won. Uh, so. I don't know what to expect when I get home. <laughs> well, at least you both that's got like at least both married. of you've got W's though. That's, and that's not, the good thing. When you go home and you're married to a coach, you just don't know sometimes what to say, not to say, don't say anything at all, and so we just kind of fill the room yeah. and kind of see what the what the mood is, and then I'll 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 say something. So well, anyway, so well, coach, good luck. Thank you. Good luck this weekend. Thank we'll you. see you Saturday yep. and. Uh, I just keep the girls working hard. I know. The, I know. Tell by the attitude of them that they're 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 into it. Yeah. They're they're they're, they're wanting. They're That's one thing that we have going for us right now. We're a close team. We we get along. Uh, uh, as far as I know, we there, don't have a no, lot of drama. There's no girl drama. Not that I that, that you I, know of. I don't want to know about it. The captains take care of that, and if the captains can't take care of that, then Coach Amanda will take care of that. And I don't want it to get to me. And if it gets to you, uh, could be not be good, right? It might not be good. So, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, well, Coach Humphrey, right. thank you, sir, and uh, we will we'll see you down the road. Sounds great. All right, thank Paul, you guys. Are you ready to wrap her up here? Remember tonight's broadcast. Our producer and director has been Paul Schultze. Our floor camera operator, Mary Bannister. On color, Michael Mullnix. Ray Pack on play by play. And Paul Schultze also did some uh, camera work. Remember, this broadcast is copyrighted by Worthy Road Studios and Fried Hardeman University. Any reproduction, retransmission, or any unauthorized use of this broadcast is strictly prohibited. The announcers have been approved by Worthy Road Studios and Fried Hardeman University. And we'll close it out by saying good night and God bless.